Jones about to get another touch. It by looked the more like ringside with the wrestlers down. when St Kilda oh, tangled with Fitzroy. The Saints had been stripped of their points after the Cox affair, but were back to their best against the Lions, winning by 40 points. For St Kilda, none played better than Trevor Barker. Comes back onto the left foot, well tackled, comes up the loose ball out to Dunn, Dunn with a long hand pass, Duberuzel in position. Across the ground, and Barker up to take the mark, can't quite take it, he's still trying to gather the ball in. Great play, Barker. Is he? Here's the pack, there's another chance here for St Kilda through Barker. Barker into the forward pocket, a chance, yes, and a good mark for taken by Hewitt. Quinlan sets himself off from Stone in front, and Barker. Barker slipped in there to take the mark. The ball taken away by Barker, and a well-placed kick finds the half-forward flank. He was trying to get to the ball and was held when, it, when he was not in possession. So the back pocket player for the Saints, who's also played well, takes the risk, goes across goal, quick hand pass, to looking for Saru. He traps the ball beautifully, and now the big fellow decides to go straight up the ground. Smith punches the ball away from Burns, and... Serafini now puts the ball up towards Clayton. Clayton takes the mark. He was wanting to get the ball filled, moving forward. Does so with a short kick, and Herbert now with a kick. He's about 35 metres out, maybe 40 metres out from goal. It'll, in these conditions, it'll still be a good kick. It'll take a good kick. The ball fairly heavy now. Hasn't kicked the goal as yet. Out of, out of Fitzroy's total of 6.15. Way. It may not quite make it this way off target anyhow. Comes right across the face of goal and the ball hitting the turf. Trying to pick up there and doing quite well too. We see uh, Parrish get a hand pass into Conlon. Conlon's shot going across the face of goal and only one point coming out of it. So Fitzroy can't get goals which they desperately need. They are the biggest part of six goals down now. 12-15 to 6-16. So uh, looks like St Kilda might have some premiership points on the ladder tonight after today. Trevor Barker up high, a great mark by Barker. No, oh, bad kick by Barker, kicking into the man on the mark, having time to recover and put the ball up to where it was supposed to go in the first place. He was looking for Dunn, but he's gone over the head of Dunn. It's up on the half-forward flank now. In under there is uh, Paletic doing the tackling. He can't quite pick up the fellow underneath the pack. It's Taylor of Fitzroy, and umpire Mike Dye is going to put the ball high in the air. Alexander will compete against Herbert. Neither got the tap, really. McMahon has the ball. Try to get a hand pass out to Taylor. Perletic got it away from him. Hewitt got a small kick up toward the forward pocket area where it's now gone out of bounds. And we'll see a boundary throw in taking place in St Kilda's forward pocket position. It will land about 40 metres out from their goal. Duperuz will roving behind the pack, hoping for the ball to come out. Herbert tried to get it out there, but wasn't very successful in so doing. And we'll see another ball thrown up or called it a ball up anyhow, but the umpire will throw the ball in the air. Almost in the forward pocket for St Kilda. Herbert got the tap. It's punched on by Wilson, taken by Chris Smith. Smith's kicked towards the half-back line, goes over the boundary line before Serafini can get there. So a throw-in will take place on the half-forward flank for St Kilda. 23 minutes have gone, the final term. You're watching on the big league. 12-15-87 St Kilda to 6-16-52 Fitzroy. Wilson trying to get the ball out, couldn't do so. Eventually it's forced out towards Burns and McMahon. It's been taken here very well too. Hand pass is a good one. Long one from Dernan. Misses Cunningham. Folletic comes in. Can't get the ball clear as Chris Smith got a quick handball. Dernan, who'd followed the ball down the ground, gets the hand pass now. It goes to O'Neill of Fitzroy, though. O'Neill tackled. Didn't know that Gorazides was coming oh. from behind. And uh, Gorazides is penalised, pushing in the back. Well, one of those hard decisions, but I didn't think it was an in-the-back decision at all. O'Neill to Taylor. Taylor coming across the ground. Two there for Fitzroy. And then he messed it up between them. Now Fitzroy trying to get the ball working now through Herbert. It comes down toward the half-forward zone. Oh, that's a strong piece of work there by Parrish. The ball taken away by Barker. And a well-placed kick finds the half-forward flank. It's taken by Hewitt. Kicked in toward the scoring zone. And a chance now. Saints forwards try to get round on the kicking foot. It swings from the boot of Bennett up towards Gorosidis. Can't take it. And it's forced over the boundary line for a boundary throw-in. Uh, Milan Philetic coming off for an interchange system and Sutherland coming on for St Kilda. Throwing in the forward pocket. Bennett up high from behind, but it's Alexander who gets the tap. It's picked up by Wilson. The handball accepted by Taylor. Taylor's kick up towards half forward. Forced forward by Cunningham. A hand pass back looking for Gorazides. And intercepted there by Robertson. Not intercepted because it was his teammate. But Roberts' uh, poor handball was uh, trapped down there by 
Clayton and eventually forced over the boundary line by Cunningham, so another throw-in to take place. We're very close to the 25-minute mark now, the final term, and we're naturally we'll be going into the time on period. Herbert and Alexander. Herbert got the ball to the front of the pack. Roberts has a snap toward goal and through. What a snapshot. His second. What a snapshot that was. Fitzroy, 16-52, but St Kilda, 13 goals, 15-93. What a snap. A great goal by Michael Roberts to bring up his second. Vastly improved player this year. Tremendous courage, and that was no exception, that goal. Oh, it was a ripper. Like threading a needle, it was. It was a beautiful left foot snap. Alexander got the tap, but it's intercepted by Burns. Burns, a high floating kick. Sutherland almost took the mark, recovered well was bundled out of the way, was able to get a hand pass, intercepted by Carlson, his short kick picked up by Clayton, whose hand pass to McCarthy, on now to Herbert. Herbert puts the long left foot kick down towards the forward zone. In the way is Dernan once again. Brushes away the first tackle, gets a hand pass in, it's punched back. Dernan tackles Lewis, but Lewis breaks away, and full points comes from the boot of uh, Lewis. One of Dernan's few mistakes as Lewis takes Fitzroy to 7-16. 58 points, St Kilda 13-15-93. Yes, I think Durnham would have been best suited, Bob, to put the boot into the left foot into it and just kick it up the field because he was in trouble. And as it turned out, he lost possession and Fitzroy have gained a goal out of it. But uh, Fitzroy can't take the game out, of course. We're 26 minutes into the final quarter. And it'll take more than a, a small miracle to see Fitzroy get up and take this game out. At the centre bounce once again, Sutherland opposes Alexander, got the tap too, but there's nobody home for St Kilda, taken away by Smith, putting the ball down toward the half-forward flank area, no mark taken, it's on the turf, Wilson spinning out of trouble, gone for the short pass to Quinlan and very close to the boundary line, Bernie Quinlan takes the mark, will have a difficult shot for goal, has kicked two goals, two goals five I think is his personal total, so Quinlan will try and change that and try and make it three goals five and Trying also to get respectability into the score of Fitzroy. Long kick by Quinlan. Way off as far as Acre is concerned. Great attempt to mark by Saru and Barry Bream will force the ball through for one point. Well, the old veteran's done a great job today, Barry Breen. Kicked off well. He's done it all well, I think. He'll have to come back. Although he Hewitt was out there all on his own. Umpire Tony Bryan signifying that the goal umpire had not finished waving his flags. So Barry Breen getting another kick. The old fellow might break down if he has too many more. Up toward Barker, it travels. Uh, the man at the back could have been paid the mark. Now the umpire's called play on. St Kilda trying to come forward. As Elphinstone puts a wobbly-looking kick forward, and good mark taken by David McMahon. He's on centre wing. Can't see too many leads. Wilson's telling him to kick long. He's going into the, into the pocket. I don't think that's the best place to direct it. Lewis was there, has been paid the mark, but making your shots for goal a lot more difficult than they should be. Even though he's certainly opened up the gap for himself, he's not going back behind the mark. He crabs in toward goal and puts it down in toward the goal square with a pack fly high from the hands of the players. It could have been offset, could have been a free kick down there too, but the umpire's called it the other way. Fiddler takes it away. Cox lost possession of the ball, but fortunately was able to recover. Gets a hand pass up to Thomas. Thomas has time to steady and drive the kick towards Burns on centre wing. Burns directs play back. Find kick. Nice mark by Sutherland. Back to Cunningham. Has, a, has one bounce. Will go for the long kick towards goals. It's right down to the goal square. And Roberts makes a nice mark. He nearly, nearly lost it on the way down. And he has been awarded the mark. Has kicked two goals. And from here, all he has to do is keep the head down, Mike. Follow right through with it. And you'll get your third goal. Roberts trying for his third. He's put it through. The Saints fans are very happy with that performance. Fitzroy, 7 17, 59. And there's a siren. The siren I didn't hear. I must confess. St Kilda, 14 goals, 15, 99 points. Have defeated Fitzroy, 7 17.